What's up and welcome to Threadheads. This week we're hanging out at Femme Fatale. A rad little DIY boutique we found right around the corner from our house. Let's go inside and take a look around. Hi, my name is Chantal Severes and we are in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at the Femme Fatale Boutique. I started the shop because of my love for vintage and emerging and local designers. My inspiration is retro styles, bombshells and pinups, and rocker chicks, and um, the love of classic movies. One of my favorite local designers is Marnie Mizell. Um, she does interesting pieces of jewelry. Everything is one of a kind, very unique, very kitschy. So here we have some designs by Cassie Cogler uh, of New York Couture. She uses new fabric, but also she uses vintage fabric. So you'll find pieces like this, very unique. She says on appliques, take an old man's shirt, make it into a flutter dress. What she's done here is taken some men's underwear and made awesome little flirty skirts. Also you'll see the applique. This is a bag from Brittany Moore for Hubris and Home Fries. Uh, she is the designer that takes vintage bags and uses appliques, sews on buttons, everything's exceptionally sturdy. She makes very unique, one-of-kind bags. So a while back, Grey Wolf 5 wrote in asking us about pockets. Can you give me advice on the best way to add cargo pockets to average jeans or dress pants? Pockets are pretty essential, but cargo pants? Eh. What we're going to recommend to you is the detachable utila pocket. Find some fabric, draw a 17 inch by 14 inch rectangle, and cut it out. Fold the rectangle in half, right sides together, and pin around the perimeter. Now you're going to sew a seam along the pin line, leaving a 3 inch gap so you can turn it right side out in a minute. When you're done sewing, turn it right side out, smooth the corner, and sew another seam around the perimeter. Now fold the pocket how you want it, flip it over, and mark out where you want your loop to go. Next, take out an old tie and cut off the tip. Fold down the raw edge and sew a seam. Pin the tie to the fabric where you made your marks and sew two seams to attach it. Now fold, pin, and sew the pocket together. You're almost done! Just mark out where the buttonhole and the button are to go, pick out a button, and hand sew it on. Next sew the buttonhole using a zigzag stitch and create a mini rectangle. Cut a slit in the middle and button her up. Then all you gotta do is slip it on your belt and rock it. Hey, more Threadhead when we return. Cigarette. The crack cocaine spider. More, 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 more! Hey Threadheads, it's Nick from Goggleburn.com. So I'm doing this show, and I've got to have a different tie every episode. But I'm running out, and I want something with a little extra oomph. Can you do anything for me? So do you have any ideas for Nick? Hit us up at Threadbanger.com. Now a while back, we put out a call for Threadbanger field correspondence. We were quite excited the other day when we got this video. Kate McFall here from KateMcFallDesigns.com here in San Francisco at the Bizarre Bazaar. Let's go on in and check it out. Hi, my name's Jamie, and I'm one of the organizers for the San Francisco Bizarre Bazaar. Bizarre Bazaar is a national craft fair that's been happening for the last seven years. We have shows in Boston, Cleveland, and San Francisco, and LA. We have 90 plus vendors, craft workshops, as well as uh, organic and handmade food. Well, my name is Tanya Giniga. I started doing um, kind of an accessories like a little while ago. These are my felt birds, which are um, hand felted from raw fleece. And then um, I do stuff like, this is a wool lace. It's one continuous strand. I have kind of some experiments in slip cast porcelain, so it's like all this porcelain that I cast on paper. And I don't know, I just kind of try to 
experiment with different types of materials and see what happens. Hi, my name is Michelle Sanders and I own Attic Journals. I make journals out of vintage books. I've worked in libraries all through my high school and college days. And I've been hoarding books for a long, long time and realized that I finally had a purpose for that. So. My name is Matt. Um, the name of the line is Custom Industries, and um, all of the designs are inspired by like uh, off the beaten path uh, travel destinations. And um, they're all like a little bit tongue in cheek, a little bit irreverent, but we just try to keep it fun. If you want to be a correspondent for Threadheads, all you got to do is take out a camera and send in a video. Maybe you got a comment or a suggestion for a show? Text Thread to three zero six four four, or leave a comment below. Till next week, see ya.